Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be a general weekly reading for the sign of Virgo for the week of April 7th. And I would like to give a very special thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting it noticed. And for all the thumbs up on all the videos that you've watched. And for all the lovely comments. Thank you very much for doing that. All right. First card out is ooh, the Nine of Swords. Well, that's all right. A little bit worried, stress. <laughs> that's okay. You know, you're determined to make something happen. Something has happened already for some of you. And you're a little bit stressed out and worried about it. Wondering if it's going to, you know, repair itself, fix itself. You know, this could have happened in the job situation and it's left you with a lot of um, sleepless nights, but you're realizing that you can't hang on to that because it's not healthy for yourself. And you want to take care of yourself, so you're going to spend a little bit of time, you know, worrying about it, but you're also understanding that it's time to let it go and get moving. And there you are, the hermit. Yeah, you're finding you're searching your soul right now for what it is that you want in your life and you're following your own true wisdom for yourself you know which is really good to see because you normally don't seek help from you know anybody for anything you're very self-reliant and independent that way but you're also realizing that sometimes you need to accept some help and you can see the light at the end of the tunnel you know the path that you want to take and and you're on solid ground and you're actually taking the proper steps for yourself you're taking a time out for yourself a little bit of rest relaxation you know not always answering the phone that sort of thing and maybe watching some television just enjoying yourself for a change before you take a breath and take your next step and look at that. Ha! Eight of Rods. Surprise. You know, something unexpected is going to come right landing in your lap. You know, and it's going to need your immediate attention. You know, a yes or no answer. You know, something swift is changing around you. And when it does, it's going to be so quick and, the, and your decision is going to be so fast that you're not going to believe that you did it. You know, this could be a trip for many of you and you decide that you get an invitation from somebody and you, you talk to yourself and go, why not? What, what am I sitting here for? And off you go, that sort of thing. But this is your yes card. You're moving forward and it's going to be so quick. Whew. And the four cups. Yeah, you've been meditating, contemplating, been a little bit bored lately not knowing what your next step is. You're, you're still doing what you normally do and you have enough and you are content and all the good things that you have going for you, but you still want more like the rest of the world. You still have, you know, dreams and ambitions that you want to succeed at. And there's the universe tempting you with the next cup. <laughs> and the two of swords. Yeah, you're definitely making a difficult decision for you. You're weighing all the options here. You know, you're at a deadlock with yourself. Do I do this? Don't I do this? That sort of thing. And you're realizing that, you know, eventually you have to stand up, put the swords down and make a decision because you don't want the universe to make it for you. You want this to be on your terms. And that's what you're doing this week. It's going to be on your terms. Wow. Love it. <laughs> You've come to a finish line, a crossroads in your life. You know, something's done and something new is beginning. This is like you starting over from scratch. You're just happy. You're content. You're, you're traveling. This could be to foreign countries for some of you. Maybe you're making a trip in the future and you're looking into what they have to offer over there for sightseeing, that sort of thing, and, and how much money it's going to cost. But you're taking action on this because it's what you want. So there is definitely a trip here for many of you in the future. 
you've come to a conclusion that you want to end something to start something new and it's going to happen and i really like that there you are the queen of pentacles you're saving your money you're making good investments you're understanding what it is that you want to do you're making sure your bank account's growing you know and if you're looking for bargains you'll wheel and deal you'll do what you need to do and you'll win <laughs> you'll get the best deal you know you'll spend less and get more for your your money and wow you are just on a roll this week and look at that six of pentacles yeah you're willing to give and receive you know if this is somebody who's been you know on the fence with you for different things maybe you know they say oh let's go for coffee or let's go for dinner and then when you phone them they're like oh well you know i got this going on or that going on they always have an answer for why not and you've come to the conclusion now well if they're going to do that to me and i'm the one who's always giving or always asking or trying to set the things up if they don't get in touch with me i'm okay with that I'll leave them over there. And that's what you're doing for yourself. You're learning to take care of yourself. If there's help that you need something in, you're willing to accept help from others because you know that you can't do it all yourself. And when they give to you, you give in return. There's not any question about that. And look at you, your independence. Nine of Pentacles, you have enough money. You're getting the fruits of your own labor. You're rewarding yourself. You have the luxuries. You're just enjoying yourself, your finances, and you're watching them grow and you're realizing that I have all that I could possibly need and you're asking yourself, what do I want next? Because it's all doable and you're understanding that. And in some cases that really, you know, makes people really notice you and it you know in a good way but they're afraid to approach you because you're so self-reliant and independent they don't think they could match you and you're not settling for anything less from them and they're well aware of that if they're not offering you enough you know you know silly you won't not take it you know you'll just go ahead on your own path because you can look at that the sun's out ah yeah, everything's going your way. You're feeling more optimistic. You're feeling more rejuvenized. Your health has returned. You're just relishing in the moments of your own glory. You're basking in it. Everything around you is just coming up roses and sunshine. And, you know, when you come into a room, you're not only feeling inspired, you're, you're lighting the room up and people are really starting to take notice of what it is you have on offer. And... They want a part of you. They want a piece of it. And you're just stepping into your own realm. And I really like that. Yeah, because the Eight of Swords, you've been held back for a long time. You've been, you know, negative thoughts, worrying about different things. You've, you know, put self-imposed on yourself, like your own restrictions, and held yourself back. And you're realizing that with the sun there, that, you know, you're not only feeling inspired, you know that you can do it. So you're taking the next step. You're taking the blindfolds off and you're moving forward. You're no longer holding yourself back from your own true happiness and potential in the future. And I really love it. Woo. And the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're saving money. You know, you want security. You're finding more confidence in yourself. You're making good investments. Yeah, you're spending a little bit for different things, you know, things that you want, but... Again, you're looking for the best bargains. You're not just, you know, if somebody says it's a hundred dollars, you'll tell them I'll give you seventy-five. You're always looking for the bargains and you get them. So you're saving your money and enjoying yourself. So that's beautiful to see for you. And the hair font. Yeah, you're talking to somebody, teacher, mentor, somebody that you not only trust but respect and they've been through a lot they have a lot of knowledge and you realize that what, as you're talking to them about the different things you want in they will help you to find solutions for the different answers that you need or want so that's really good to see some of you are actually thinking of taking a course of interest something that you know you've always wanted to do 
something you've put off doing for a long time, but you're learning to trust yourself that you not only have the resources, but the mental clarity to fulfill what your dreams are. So that's so nice. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel or a card, but your cards are all about positive movement, money, you know, self-reliance. You're going for the gusto here and the world is going to help. I like it. <laughs> you are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. Perfect. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you again next week. Bye for now.